My name is Ernie Lopez. I found out about the church uh, back in the spring of 2013. And uh, we were attending Pastor Charles Neiman's church um, in El Paso, Texas, Abundant Living Faith Center. Pastor Keith is a, a good friend of his. And uh, we heard him sp speak at our spring conference there. And he blew us away. I mean, it was, it was an amazing message. He talked about the divine fingerprint. You know, fast forwarding a year later, uh, at the time I was in the military, um, I was a major at the time and fully intended on being uh, maintaining a career in the military. About a year later, uh, I went to go see a doctor, uh, my doctor for a routine visit. I, I already knew I had a, a kidney, kidney disease at the time, um, but it was, this was my follow-up visit for the, for the year. And uh, she told me that it was time for me to be medically retired from the military. My wife and I were also, uh, had been trying to have a child um, for the last seven years prior. So we started, we had already started the in vitro process um, in about the March time frame. So right after I found out that I was going to be separated from the military, I retired, my wife found out that she was pregnant. So we had a new child coming in on the way. We were moving, finding a new career, uh, finding a new place to live. Um, and all of this was happening during my daughter's senior year of high school. So that was a constant struggle for our family of trying to deal with her emotions and, and really just you know, constantly having to talk to her about, you know, it's going to be okay. So when, you know, we started thinking about moving to this area, I was looking at job opportunities and um, I was interviewing with Dr. Pepper. We we're like, hey, well, maybe we might be able to go out and see um, Elevate Life because we really like that church. Uh, leading up to that trip, um, I would wake up in the morning and the funny thing is, God would place Pastor Keith's name in my head and, and I had only seen him speak one time and that was a year prior. But every morning I would wake up and I would hear Keith Craft, Keith Craft, over and over in my head. I mean, I'd be brushing my teeth and I'd hear his name over and over. And finally I was like, God, I, I get it. And so when we made the road trip from El Paso to, uh, to Dallas, it was 10 hours. My wife and I uh, turned on the podcast uh, and we listened to probably 10 to 12 podcasts of Pastor Keith on the trip up here. And by the time we got here, we were already in love with, with the church. And we we're like, we're almost 99% certain that this is where we want to go. And after that, we. Uh, we came to the church in uh, July of 2015, and we were shown around by uh, somebody that ended up becoming our, our friend, Steve Coburn, and he, he put us over the top, uh, really made us fall in love with this place. I looked at my wife, Tina, and said, this is, this is our home. And we were trying to figure out where we were going to get plugged in, and I was working 15 to 17 hours a day. It was extremely difficult on my, on my body physically, and I really didn't realize how bad my physical condition was yet. My wife and I made the decision that, that I was gonna leave um, my corporate job because I couldn't, I couldn't take the physical nature of being there 15 to 17 hours a day. Two weeks later after my, my son was born, I left and resigned. Um, so that was a 40% decrease in, in our income, but it, I mean, it was a pretty significant financial burden on us. And I bring that up because we really leaned in and gave more than we ever gave. And um, it was difficult. There were some many months where, where I considered not and we continued to, to stay faithful. And then my wife and I started serving together um, as part of Team Halo, Usher Greeters. At first we were, you know, we wanted to kind of just do something together and, and, and it was more about how we could spend time together serving. And then we started to see the blessings of, of being part of this ministry. We met uh, Heidi and Alonzo Marsh and they were our, our team captains. And they were some of the first people that we met. They, they were also our, um, our marriage mentors for our, the marriage class. So we sat at their table. So already there was a good alignment there. Come to find out that uh, Heidi Marsh uh, found out about our story. And we started to tell her about my, you know, my kidney disease and how you know, my, my kidney function was, was decreasing severely. And she told us about a friend in Miracles Inc., which is another uh, group in, in the Usher Greeters. We were introduced to Deborah Hatton. Uh, she had already submitted an application uh, to become a kidney donor. Uh, well, my wife was on the list um, to, to be my donor. She was already getting tested and all that. Well, my wife had some physical complications that were that put her on hold temporarily. Well, during that time that she was on hold, um, Deborah submitted her application and was and leapfrogged my wife. She was approved. Um, she's a perfect match. So within a month and a half, she was already had already completed all of her testing. So just that that one event right there was already something that where God was intervening and making something happen that normally doesn't happen. Um, so Deborah was essentially approved to to be an organ donor for me, um, but she didn't have health insurance. So it was a major obstacle for her to pay for tests that needed to be completed in order for her to be approved. Our ministry decided that they were going to uh, collect up money to 
pay for her necessary bills. So there was, it was like three tests, that, but they were pretty expensive. It, went in, it wasn't just Team Halo, it was Miracles Inc. and all the other, um, you know, the other teams that, that rallied together to, uh, to make this happen. So I say this because every single person that is part of Usher Greeters is part of this journey with us. And every single person is going to be blessed from this because they're a part of this just as much as Deborah and I are part of this. Uh, my daughter struggled during her senior year, uh, really struggled with making friends here in this area, and it was very hard for her. And now I, I see her blossoming and really uh, getting plugged in with young adults. And um, you know, she's coming to church on her own. And you know, there's been a couple of times where we've been out of town, and she's she's still being faithful, and you know, she's tithing, and she's. She's becoming her, her own person and really, really leaning into God so that she can receive her own blessing and not just, you know, come to church because, you know, we tell her to. So it's something that is in her heart now. I would say during our most, our most difficult times, uh, financially with the uncertainty of, of our move and having a baby and the emotional state of my daughter, um, it really caused a lot of turbulence in our marriage and uh, we were just, there was just a lot of uncertainty in, in the way that we were interacting. And um, during that time is when we leaned in the most financially and uh, serving here at the church. I really feel like we received that back tenfold. Um, you know, we were faithful over the little and God has rewarded us with much. And that seed that we were blessed with, the seed being our time, we we're also blessed with and we we're giving that into the church. So, and, and we really see the fruits of that now. Uh, so we're really excited about what God is doing for us, um, not only in 2017, but um, going forward into our future. And uh, we know that the future is bright. I'd like to thank Pastor Keith for uh, being our, our spiritual father and for for coming to that church to speak because if it wasn't for him coming out and, and speaking then we never would have known about him. I just want to say thank you to my Usher Greeter team, Team Halo and all the entire Usher Greeter ministry because they're the ones that have that have really made this happen. Not just in prayer but in action also and and like I said earlier they're they're a part of this journey. They're this is their miracle also when we have victory, they have victory also. And I'm just excited to, to share this, this testimony and, and really just, just be a blessing to somebody that needs to hear this.